This is my side-by-side -side telescope mounting system for an 80 millimeter refractor and guide scope. My CGEM mount comes with a Lost Mandy mounting system. My 80 millimeter refractor has a Vixen style and so I bought this adapter plate. It's a Lost Mandy dovetail to Vixen style saddle plate. ADM sells it. It's around $120. And so you slide that on there and then your 80 millimeter telescope will slide into the Vixen saddle. I bought this side-by-side -side mounting system to mount the guide scope and then the 80 millimeter refractor and it has the Vixen style plate. So that slides onto the other adapter and now we're ready to mount both scopes. I'll manually turn the head here so that we're uh, able to slide the 80 millimeter refractor onto the left side of that mounting system. I bought a 60 millimeter guide scope from the ZWO company and that'll slide onto the right side. I'll use this camera for planetary imaging and for deep sky it'll be my guide camera. The guide scope has a nice helical focuser and so after mounting this lightweight camera it should be pretty easy to focus it. Now the imaging camera that I'm using right now is the Canon 1100D and it's a pretty nice camera for deep sky imaging. I bought this 2 inch T-ring and after you take your lens off you mount that T-ring and then that will plug directly into the uh, 2 inch focuser on the 80 millimeter refractor. Now there's a couple different ways you can get set up for your auto guiding. Since I'm using an 80 millimeter refractor, I didn't want to mount the guide scope on top of the refractor. And so that's how I ultimately came up with the side-by-side -side system. I'll be using a program called PHD for auto guiding. And on this camera, there are two ports. One of the ports connects the camera to the computer. The other port on the camera is for connecting to the mount and so PHD will be able to make corrections and send the information from the computer to the camera and then over to the mount. So these are phone style jacks and it uh, makes it a real convenient way to to connect things up here. The idea is we want to be able to accurately track a star and with those corrections being sent to the mount I should be able to get exposures of up to 10 minutes. And now I'm balancing the telescopes on the mount. The 80 millimeter refractor is heavier and so we'll slide the whole system over to achieve our balance. On my next clear night I plan to uh, set up during the daylight hours, get everything all set to go. Between the actual uh, setting up of the telescope and the guide scope and the cameras and then getting the polar alignment done it probably will take me a little while to get things ready for imaging so if you're just getting set up for uh, auto guiding and you're using an 80 millimeter scope for your imaging maybe the side-by-side -side system will work for you